Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Shrivastav and today I am discussing a very important and very interesting SQL question. So let, let's understand the data first. So this is a data of a uh, startup company who has launched the app recently and they want to understand that what is the average time taken by each user to complete one successful transactions. Okay. So we, uh, what do you mean by successful transaction we will understand from this data okay so if you see that uh, we have here three columns like user ID date and time and value so whenever we can s we, we see the value as one that means that current transaction is in progress that means at this particular point of time the value was one let's say the user has logged in at this particular point of time again the value as one that means user is currently navigating in the app here also user is again navigating into the app and at this particular point of time when we have the value as zero that means the user has successfully logged out and again you can see that we have a zero as well that means user has uh, either closed the app or uh, whatever okay so the our main purpose is like we should uh, calculate uh, the start time when we have the first time value as one for that particular user ID and the transaction end time should be when we are getting the first time as zero for that particular user ID okay so for this particular user the transaction start time was 13 26 56 seconds and the transaction end time was 13 30 0, 07 seconds okay so this is called one successful transaction having the combination of one as well as zero okay similarly for user ID 2 also we can see that uh, we have combination of 1 and zeros right so this is also one of the successful transaction and for user ID 3 you can see that we have only one so it's like uh, this uh, but, uh, user I, uh, this particular user haven't completed the complete uh, haven't completed the uh, complete transaction so it skipped on navigating and kept the phone idle or whatever it is okay so basically our aim is to ignore this cycle we will calculate only the average time of the completed cycle okay now so our first step will be like we should calculate the transaction start time and transaction end time of the user right so we will get the start and end here and on top of that we will calculate the average time spent right per transaction okay so let's quickly jump on SQL and see how we can execute this and before that uh, if you want to uh, execute the same problem you can pause the video and you can uh, write your own code and check the results at the end okay so let's quickly jump on the SQL and see so this is the transaction table data I have already inserted into the table okay so this data is coming in a random manner so let's get the data order by ID and uh, transaction date and time okay so that will make more sense right so this is how our data should look like okay for this user ID we have multiple values of 1 and 0 okay similarly for two also we have similar kind of data and for three as well we have only ones right so our first step is to calculate the cycle or transaction start time and transaction end time right and then we will go for calculating the average so let's write the query select ID tran date time then value okay from transactions okay so here our logic should be like we need to uh, pull first the uh, uh, we need to pull the date and time for the first occurrence of one right as well as the first occurrence of zero for each user ID right so we will go for min and here we will write a case statement case when value equals to 1 then transaction date time right and over we need to go for a group uh, we need to go for a group on ID right so we will write tr 
uh, over partition by ID and order by transaction date and time right in ascending order correct as tran start time right similarly we'll have to uh, write uh, we'll have to get the transaction end time as well right so in this case we will simply replace one with zero right and we will make the changes in the column name as well so this will be our uh, transaction end time right so let's execute this and see what we are getting uh, so it is saying syntax error near min okay okay so comma is missing perfect so here we get the transaction start time each user wise right and this is our transaction end time user wise okay now we need to identify the start and end in one row right this is our first step so we will write an outer query select ID okay and then minimum of transaction start time right as start time comma minimum of transaction end time as end time right as end time on this one we will use the alias as well okay and we'll go for a group by id correct so let's execute this and see what is coming perfect so basically uh, for user id one this is my start time and this is my end time so let's check the source data so this is the start time okay so start time is 13 26 56 seconds so 13 26 56 second is my start time for user ID 1 and the end time is uh, 13 30 0, 7 seconds so end time is 13 30 0, 7 seconds correct now we need only the uh, average of successful transactions right so we need to ignore this right user ID 3 correct so we can simply write where trans end time is not null right and let's execute this and see what is coming perfect so this is what we needed now our requirement is we need to write uh, we need to calculate the average time right so for that we need to first calculate the date difference right so we will directly write select ID and then date diff this is a function in SQL server which will help you to calculate the uh, date difference say like days minutes seconds okay so here I'll calculate this in second and my column name should be we need to calculate the difference between the start time and end time correct as total transaction time okay from and we will use another name alias say B okay so let's execute this and see perfect so we can see that for user ID 1 the total transaction uh, time was 191 seconds and for user ID 2 the total uh, transaction time was 106 seconds perfect now our final requirement is like we need to calculate the average right that what is the average time taken by the users in complete successful transaction okay so we will simply write select average of total transaction time as so the column name is like average time spent in one transaction we will like right and we will give say another name alias as C okay so let's execute this and see what is coming perfect so 148 is 
uh, seconds is the average time taken by user to complete one successful transactions okay so hope you like the video and please share subscribe among your friends for maximum reach thank you so much for watching